Hey everybody, welcome to Burr Tech. In this episode, we're gonna be asking the question, is Logitech a incredibly underrated company? All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I wanna make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. So over the years, I have purchased a ton of equipment from Logitech and other producers. And one of the things that always strikes me is how good Logitech is. Now you probably own a mouse, a keyboard, or some other peripheral from Logitech, and you probably don't really give it a second thought. And one of the reasons is that it probably just works so well. Now, of course, whenever someone says this product works so well, there's always a ton of people, especially on the internet, that said it maybe didn't work. Now, of course, if you're gonna be a billion dollar company and sell millions and millions of products, some of those products are not gonna be as good. But for the most part, for me at least, all the Logitech equipment that I have purchased over the years has been really good. And one of the only times that the hardware has actually failed is because it was super old. I remember one time that my Logitech speakers broke and I said to myself, when did I buy that? Eight years ago? Okay, maybe it's time for some new speakers. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is that I purchased some speakers for my PC that were from a different brand and they broke and I didn't understand why. They got really good reviews on Amazon and I thought, well, these are great speakers. Now, sure enough, it was only six months after I bought this that these broke. And I remember that time where I had Logitech speakers for years and years and they didn't break. So I purchased some Logitech speakers and sure enough, they're actually really good. So there are two pieces of Logitech equipment that I really like using. One is the trackball and two are their headsets. And I think they're really good. And I'm gonna be making a separate review of both because I think they are super important products and they're incredibly great value. And that's the thing about Logitech. They have really good products that work really well and they're at a really good price. Whenever I go into their site and I look at the products, I say, yeah, that's probably what the product is worth. And I know I'm gonna be getting quality. So like I said, I use Logitech products a lot and the only time that they actually break is when I drop them or they just wear out. And I've used a lot of trackballs and I've used a lot of these headsets. And again, I'll be talking about that in a separate video. So please be sure to like and subscribe. Now, one of the things that I'm prone to is repetitive stress injuries. Now, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, but overall, I tend to get repetitive stress injuries. I can't do physical tasks without getting some kind of repetitive stress injury. It's a really annoying problem. And I've been using this trackball and Logitech trackballs for more than 15 years because before that, I would get these shooting pains in my arm when I would use a regular mouse because for the last 15 to 20 years, I've been practically on a computer all day. I've been either coding or doing something on the computer and for the most part, it has been very hard on my body because I'm very prone to repetitive stress. Now, some people are not prone to repetitive stress and you're fairly lucky for that, but for the rest of us, Logitech makes a lot of really good ergonomic products. And if you do have repetitive stress, or if you're getting older and worried about getting repetitive stress injuries, I highly recommend switching to ergonomic products today because prevention is an ounce of cure. Once I switched the trackball, I actually stopped getting all the repetitive stress injuries. So I sometimes do still get repetitive stress issues even using the ergonomic equipment. And this is because I sit in front of the computer all day or I don't stand up, etc. So I'm gonna be giving you some tips on how to use the ergonomic Logitech products in this video right here. So I think Logitech is a pretty good company. And whenever I need any kind of peripherals, specifically ergonomic peripherals, I just tend to go there. So let me know your thoughts down below. Have you used the Logitech? Do you like the ergonomic equipment that they sell? Please write down below, I want to know. Also, please be sure to like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more free content we can make. If you really like this channel, you can buy our digital products down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of e-learning content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new e-learning content per month. We release everything from web development tutorials to machine learning tutorials to game to development tutorials to cybersecurity tutorials and more. It's the best way to help with this channel and we have monthly and yearly options. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.